So many guys have no clue how to navigate a woman's pleasure map. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you the six key landmarks on a woman's pleasure map that you need to be hitting for orgasmic bliss. Let's get into it. My name is Sterling Cooper. I'm an award-winning porn star. I'm a former high-class male companion, and this is my YouTube channel. So welcome. Let's start with the most obvious pleasure center on a woman's body, the little man in the boat, the clitoris. So many men have trouble finding them in the clitoris, and I don't understand why. It's like right there in front of you. You just have to look at the vagina. For those of you who don't know how to find the clitoris, hopefully I'm gonna educate you today. Let's say you're looking straight down the barrel. A woman is laying on her back flat in front of you. You're looking straight down the barrel. Bang, right there at the 12 o'clock position. That's where the clitoris sits. Now, the clitoris sort of sits inside the clitoral hood, which is actually, you can kind of think of the clitoral hood like the foreskin on a penis. That's kind of like the same thing. So one of the things you can do when one's laying down there in front of you is you can place your thumb and your palm on her sort of pubic area and you can pull all the skin there up up towards her belly button. What that's gonna do is you're gonna start to pull away that clitoral hood and expose the clitoris itself. So you can actually see that sort of pink, soft, curved little bulb that sticks out. That is the clitoris. What you'll notice is that when the clitoris is, or when she is aroused and turned on, the clitoris will engorge and get more flush with blood. It's much easier to spot then. When she's not aroused and not turned on, then it's gonna be smaller, it's gonna sort of hide and tuck away inside the clitoral hood. So first and foremost, the clitoris is your best friend. It's one of the easiest places to stimulate. It's one of the easiest ways to get a woman to orgasm is through clitoral stimulation. Now, every girl likes a little bit of a different degree of sensation. Some girls like it hard, some girls like it soft, some girls like it fast, some girls like it slow. Here's a little cheat code you can use. Get her to masturbate in front of you. Tell her it'll turn you on if you see her masturbating. Then. Watch how she does it. How much pressure does she apply? How fast does she apply pressure to the clitoris? Is it a clockwise motion? Is it a counterclockwise motion? Pay attention to that and then just copy the damn thing. Bingo, you have a cheat code for how to turn her on and how to get her off using her clitoris. You're welcome. Number two, erogenous zone, pleasure spot number two is the G spot. Again, some guys have such a hard time finding this fucking thing. It's like right there. You're gonna take two fingers, you're gonna insert them inside, and you're gonna do a come hither motion, like this, okay? From the side, that's what it looks like. Come hither, just like that. What you're gonna feel is a kind of spongy mound on the front wall of her vagina. It's gonna, gonna have kind of like a wrinkly texture almost to it. That is the G-spot. It's gonna be located about one and a half knuckles deep once you're inside there. Stimulating this is quite pleasurable for the ladies. Now, some like it just sort of gently pushed and played with, some like it very forcefully sort of hammered into with your fingers. So you can gauge from her response which one she is gonna lean more towards. And from there, you can incorporate it while she's going down on a girl. The girls love that. And depending upon which way your penis bends, whether it bends upwards or bends downwards, certain sex positions are gonna make it much easier for you to actually hit the G-spot with the head of your penis, giving a really, really great sexual experience. Pleasure spot number three that a lot of guys have never even actually heard of is one called the deep spot. This is also referred to sometimes as the A spot or the O spot, and it's at the very back of the vaginal cavity underneath or on top of the cervix. In between this, where this, there's a gap between the cervix and the vaginal wall, and that gap, that, that, that place along the vaginal wall there is the deep spot. And if you directly stimulate this, you are actually stimulating the muscles that actually contract an orgasm, that, that kind of contract, etc. when she has an orgasm. So you're literally biohacking her own biology by stimulating this directly. However, stimulating it is very difficult because it is right at the back of the vaginal cavity. You, if you want to stimulate with your fingers, you have to get all the way back there with your fingers, basically up to the point where you almost ha have your knuckle in there. And that depends upon how deep her vaginal cavity is in particular. But if you can get back there, if you can stimulate this, oh boy, you are going to be flicking a literal switch and she will uncontrollably orgasm. I break down exactly how to do this. I give you real demonstrations. I give you a 
cross-sectional breakdown of the anatomy in my video course. The link is in the description down below. I highly recommend you go check it out. Erogenous zone number four is actually the anus. Now, although a lot of women will say they've had kind of uncomfortable experiences or they don't really enjoy anal penetration, anal sex that much, you don't have to shove your whole love meat in there to achieve what I'm gonna tell you to achieve right now. And all you have to do is just stimulate the anus area. Now, if you're a complete pervert like me, you might wanna do that with your tongue. If you're not a complete pervert like me, you can do it simply with your thumb. Spit on your thumb, lubricate your thumb a little bit, and just rub the anal area, rub the anus, whilst you're doing doggy style. It's actually a really easy way to incorporate this. And it just adds a second sensation, another layer to the sensation she's feeling, which can help her to achieve orgasm, help her to climax easier. You don't necessarily have to actually stick a digit into her butt and penetrate her with your finger that way if she doesn't like it. However, some girls will eventually build up to that and actually quite enjoy that. A lot of women are actually capable of achieving orgasm purely through anal penetration. Yep, no other kind of simulation, just anal penetration. Now it's, it takes a bit of work to, uh, and practice, luckily, to build her up to that point, but it is entirely, a poss it is entirely possible, it's entirely achievable for most women. So uh, that's some fun little rabbit hole for you guys to go down with your partner. Now, erogenous zone number five is actually one that guys pay attention to a lot of the time, but they don't realize that it's actually a very useful erogenous zone, and that is the nipples. Women are actually capable, some women, not necessarily all, but some women are actually capable of achieving an orgasm purely through nipple stimulation. So here's the key with nipples. Everyone has one nipple that is sort of more sensitive than the, that more sensitive than the other. They're either left or right nippled. So first of all, figure out which nipple is her dominant nipple. And second of all, figure out how much stimulation she likes. Some women will like a lot of stimulation. Some women damn near want their ripples bitten off. They really, really enjoy pain in the nipple area. So first of all, figure out if she's left or right nippled. And then second of all, figure out what degree of stimulation she likes and is most pleasurable for her. Now, erogenous zone number six is the thing between her ears. Yes, that's her mind. Her mind is the most powerful erogenous zone that you have access to. Now you can use this, utilize this in so many different ways. You can utilize it through dirty talk, you can utilize it through visual stimulation, you can utilize it through commands, through punishments, through rewards. So many different ways to utilize her mind to get her off. Now some women are actually capable of achieving an orgasm or being taught how to orgasm purely through the power of their own mind. No physical stimulation whatsoever. And once you've seen this, oh boy, you think anything is possible. Now some guys have no idea whatsoever how to tell if a woman is faking an orgasm or having a real orgasm. So I highly suggest you check out this video right here where I show you some clear cut signs to tell if she's faking or not.